is up, guys? Welcome back to Rob Squad Reactions with your boy Jay. Your girl Amber. We're back today with another video, but y'all know what today is. Y'all see it on the shirt. It is Feet Melt Friday, one of our favorite days of the week. We bring light to the amazing female bands and artists out there. But hey, if you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell because we drop videos every single day. Every single day. Not one, not two, but three. And even on Female Fridays, hey, we drop as many as we can. But I'm excited because y'all know if, you're, if you've are you been an RSR family member that Female Fridays, I have no idea what we are listening to until Mama drops it on us. So, Mama, what do we got today? Today we are listening to Loretta Lynn, Coal Miner's Daughter. Have we reacted to L Loretta Lynn before? No, this is a first for us. And I Dude, that's a name I've heard. Well, that's because she's suggested quite a bit. Loretta I, say, Lynn I feel is. like I've heard that name And before. there was a, a couple of other songs that I saw mm. were suggested, but Coal Miner's Daughter was the one that was suggested the most. So I'm ready to... Hear what Miss Loretta Lynn has All right, for us. So some Loretta Lynn, brand new to me. What is this? What era does this come from? Um, I don't know what era this is from. Um, it does look mm. like it's before the seventies to so, me. So have you heard of Loretta Lynn? No. no. All right, let's get it. So brand new reaction for both of us. Some Loretta Lynn. What was the song called? Coal Miner's Daughter. Coal Miner's Daughter. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh, so it looks. It is older. 50s, 60s, let's get it. Oh. I already like the sound. Southern? When I was born to coal miner's daughter In a cabin on a hill in Butcher Hollow We were poor but we had love That's the one thing that daddy made sure of he shoveled coal to make a poor man's dollar. My daddy worked all night in the van near coal mine. All day long in a field of hoeing corn. Mommy rocked the babies that night and read the Bible by the coal oil light. And everything would start all over the break of morn. Okay, so I'm already sucked into the yes, song. Yes, I like it already. Not just because of her voice, because her voice is beautiful, and I love the southern sound to it, but I relate to this so heavy. You guys know I, I lost my dad, but uh, we didn't grow up having mm. a lot. My dad owned his own um, HVAC business, so he worked all the time, but it was just to put food on the table for us, but one thing he made sure that we had, you guys hear me talk about my childhood so much because it was such a great experience was that we had love and, mm. and we had family and that's all and like that's all that matters so this coal miner's daughter my dad wasn't a coal miner but he did make an honest living just so just for his family so i'm automatically suckered into it and then her voice is just selling it even more to me and then you add the southern sound to it also that the southern twang yes. she definitely has like she's on stage in that green dress, just demanding everybody's attention. And it's just so, she, she looks so humble and sweet. At the exactly. Same time. And then, like you said, you know, he's talking about dad's going out and working to get us his money. Mom is at home rocking the baby. So, <laughs> yeah, and that's about to be yeah, our situation. Exactly. Literally about to be our situation. <laughs> because, you know, we have our two girls. Luca's on the way. Jordan's working to take care of us right now. And I'll be home with Luca. So, yep. having some fun. But let's get back to it. <laughs>
So it's pretty much like, you know, she lives that blue collar life, you know, hard, the, the honest, yeah, the honest, honest you know, hard, hard working dad took care of the family and mom's mom. And she also gives credit to her mom. Yeah. And she also doing. gives credit to, to her mom as well. But like, there's something about this, like whenever she's singing it, like, and, and it may be just me, but it's like, it's, it's painting a picture it, in it's, my it's head. It's a storybook that she's singing to you. It, like, exactly. I feel you exactly. And, and then she's talking about, you know, the summertime, you know, we had no, like, I felt that because summertime, I at like, I feel like all the time, I hate wearing shoes. I hate wearing mm-hmm. socks. If I could be barefoot 24 seven, I would, especially during the summer. So, you know, it's just funny. She talked about in the summer, they're running around barefoot. You know, I didn't live in the country. You know, I live in the city, but still. I had to wear shoes because of mm-hmm. the snakes. <laughs> Facts. But no, I lived in the city, so you know, and I, and I ran around all the time hey. barefoot. We mm-hmm. anywhere we was going, we was outside playing ball. Hey, your boy Jay was barefoot, so I relate to that a hundred percent. And then she mentioned how she would fetch the well water. Um, you that, know, yep, my parents well, well water. water. Oh, y'all, there's nothing better than well water. You can't no. tell me there's water. I've had than city well water. water than when I went down to your parents having that well water. Oh, Huge I difference. Miss it. That ending that ending got me guys that, like oh. that's a song i i actually i want to go back and listen to it again like i really enjoyed that she had that southern twang like and i don't know exactly when this was but well I, she talked about using the washboard right and like, like that so obviously it was i would say fi- she's if she's talking about childhood i 50s, mean oh, you know maybe like I, i'm definitely and like i don't want to say Dolly vibes because she didn't go as high as Dolly, and I don't want to say Dolly vibes. But the humble side, right? But I don't also don't want to say Dolly vibes because you know she may came before Dolly. But but like I I definitely seen like similarities in there. I think as far as like storytelling, you know. Yeah, I was I think it's similarities in their character. Yeah, exactly. Just that sweet southern, sweet sweet southern humble, just genuine. But her voice, like you know, Mm. there's some artists who you really love, but their voice is super Mm. powerful, and sometimes. You just like you, like her. I feel like I could listen to over and over. Yes, over. no you know doubt I mean? about like, it. I mean, like I wouldn't need a break from her voice because her voice is just so mm. sweet and it's so soothing and I, it just had so much character within it. Who uh, I can't remember. Oh, we reacted to her a little while ago. Um, Bridge over troubled water. Who was, who was the singer? It, it was it was a lot older, kind of like this one. But even she, like I feel like you know a mixture of her and Dolly. What is that woman's name? Oh, I hate it when I'm I not sure. Remember. I thought we listened to Simon and Garfunkel Bridge Over Troubled Water. Was it? Yeah. I think you you might be thinking of a difference. I'm going to have to go back and check it. But there, there was a woman we listened to a while back. Remember she was talking about, you know, the her brother, whoever it was, jumping off the bridge. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking you about. You know what song I'm know, talking um, about? I know, but I can't remember the I know. Name. I can't remember it either. But, but like, it, kind of that old country, yeah. southern feel to it. I love that. But mm. um, the end of the song really got to me because she said, you know, she went back and you know, the, the floorboards aren't there, but, you know, the love and the memories are still there. Right. And so that just makes, like, I like I always say I love I love my childhood. I love growing up in the country. I love having just, like, that family atmosphere. And, you know, with people passing mm-hmm. and things like that, you go back and it's not the same. But then mm-hmm. you still have these memories, all these great, beautiful memories right. of just all the time you spent out on that land. So that part really got to me. I, the mm-hmm. whole song, I loved. I loved her mm-hmm. voice. I loved the message. So thank you guys for suggesting no, I, that. I definitely understand. It's it's hard to go back. Yeah. Because, I mean, where I was from, you know, my grandfather, huge, huge, huge part of my life, you know. I, obviously, he's not here anymore. You know, I haven't been back there in 10 plus years just because, you know, so, so it's just a weird kind of eerie feeling like, like you're missing something. So I right. definitely know what you're talking about. It's emotional. Yes. But guys, hey, thank you so, so much for that suggestion. Thank you for actually picking that song. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed I'm glad it. i that was suggested. I, I, I want to dive you know, a little more into that rabbit hole because that, that Southern twang, something about it, I, I really, really enjoy. Yeah. But hey, if you guys are new to the channel, hey, and if you're still here, you've stuck around to the end, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, because we drop videos every once again day. every single day. <laughs> I said it before you did. But guys, we always send you out with, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. 
Hey, and you are always blessed. And for you new subscribers, you new family members, you have a goal every single day. Mama, remind them of that goal. Make somebody smile. Let us to make somebody smile. And we'll see you guys later.